Hello guys, this is the Epiphany. Today I'd like to show you a tutorial on how to use the Dofu's book website. The website is the alternative for Dofu's planner. Dofu's planner actually got shut down in around April. Yesterday when I uploaded the video of the Colosseum fight where I achieved the legend rank, I didn't actually notice that the Dofu's sound was actually much louder than my commentary. So in this particular video, I'm not going to be having any form of music, just my commentary. So this video, you guys will be able to hear how the new microphone actually works properly. Uh, once you create your account in Dofu's Planner, uh, I mean Dofu's Book, you will go to Equipments and press All, and you will show it will show you every single set that you've made. These are just some random sets that I've made uh, testing gear and testing combinations of items. Some of them are actually made for my friends as well. So yeah, in today's video, I'll be making a, a uh, Strength Algonac set, which is actually the set that I'm using right now. And I'll be showing you the Dofu's book version of the set. I'll do a video later on when I reveal my actual, like the actual pieces of my Algonac set. But for today, I'll be showing you uh, how to use this website, uh, the basics of it anyway. So we, we're going to go create a build. And we, once we do that, we can come up with the classes that uh, you, you want to create. Uh, I'll go male Algonac for now. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. You can go for more options, but this is confusing and not really important. So I'm going to disregard that and just press save here. Then it's going to open up a new uh, set planning page. For, I, I need to mention that I highly recommend you use Google Chrome that has an automatic translator because uh, firstly I'm not actually a French person and I don't understand most French. This website is entirely in French so you should be able to translate it to English if, you're, if you can only understand English. D that being said the translation is not 100% accurate. As you can see, some of the things here, we have uh, tidy, which is actually range. And here are the slots for you to put your range XO or, or MP or AP XO. There's a couple of other things here, such as luck, which is actually chance. And I'll show you later on that when we actually choose the gear, there is uh, some inaccurate translations. Okay, so I just clicked on the hat and it brings you to this interface here which shows you all the hats in the game which are sorted in order from level 200 at the stop and alphabetical order going downwards. Uh, this is what we call the card view because it shows the details of the items. If you want to do a quick view, it will show you in smaller cards but it doesn't show you the stats. So if you're an expert with the items in the game, then you can do that. But for now, I'll stick with card view. We also have a list view, which is actually uh, a bit bigger and more detailed, but card view is probably the best one in my opinion. So we're going to go card view. We notice up here that there's some options. Uh, you can actually choose, like you can actually go to a different interface, a uh, different item as well. Like you can go to belt and boots and ring and actually choose your particular item from here. Or you could return back to your equipment and click on the slot and then choose it manually from there. We also have some filters here. So for example, I'm revealing my Algonac strength set. So I'm going to go strength here. So it's going to come up with all the gear that has strength in it. Uh, obviously, vitality is there as well. So yeah, uh, as you guys know, the hat is actually a Kutulu hat, a uh, Kutulu mask. So let's click plus on this one. You have to click the plus. Uh, once you do that, it goes back. Sometimes it stays there and it, there's an option for you to go back or stay on where you're at, but this time it went back. I'm not sure why. Okay, the weapon that I have uh, is actually a hammer, so you can choose from melee weapon, range weapon, or all weapons. Uh, or you can do wep weapon minator, which is actually a thing that uh, it's 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 basically it tells you which weapon will do the most damage for your character. Uh, it takes a while to load as well, but as you can see here, with the current gear that I have, which is a Kutulu mask, it'll tell you that Larvax will be the one that does the most damage, uh, so on and so forth. 
the weapon I'm actually going to be using is a hammer, which is the one that I actually use anyway, so I'll be picking that. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, when you have more gear on, you can test the weaponator again, and it'll show you that there will be, uh, you know, more weapons that will do more damage because you're going to have more gear and higher stats. So yeah, that, that's the weapon I use. So let's click the ring now. And then we... Uh, Alright, so the two rings I'm using are a, uh, a Tash ring and a Barbaric. But, oh wait, wait, there's an option here to search. The reason why it's sometimes easier to use search is because the Tash ring is actually a level 180 item. Whereas, you know, it's, it's level 200 at the top. So if you just search Tash ring, it'll come up immediately. So this option here, you can go back to your build or you can choose to stay here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to search up a uh, barbaric band now because that's the second ring that I'm using. Barbaric band is the one that I'm using. So I'm going to go to build. Um, the barbaric band is actually, uh, it, it's a decent ring. And a lot of people have told me to use crustic ring, but I've decided to use barbaric band because it's got 4% critical. Uh, Crustic only has 2% critical and this one has 7% air resistance as well. The Crustic ring does not. But yeah, those are pretty much the only two reasons why I prefer Barbaric Band over Crustic. Alright, let's go Cloak. For Cloak, I'll be using uh, Cloak of Thousand Excuses. Because that's essentially the um, you know the best cloak to use for a strength character level 200. Yeah, as you can see uh, when I said at the start with the inaccurate uh, translations, it says cloak of thousand apologies, which is actually cloak of thousand excuses. So let's click that and we add it. Okay, so now the amulet that I'm using is a uh, what was it? A Rhiney to amulet. Yep. So. Run into Amulet here. Let's scroll down. Uh, where is it? Uh, Run into Amulet here. Press Equip. And then the belt that I'm using is a Run into Belt. This is actually an extremely nice belt. When it came out, I honestly thought that it was too good to be true. Because the thing about strength sets is that they heavily heavily lack on neutral and earth resistance and you can see this belt uh, literally 100 strength 40 uh, 400 vitality 10 percent resistance of neutral and earth which is it's very very nice for strength characters i highly recommend that um if your strength you use this belt the thing about using this belt and the amulet you might notice that the amulet has zero strength on it but it's actually because of the two set bonus so the two set bonus is a hundred of each element and 10 damage of each element which is very nice because it's essentially 400 initiative initiative is quite nice for me I'll, I'll explain that later on uh yeah so uh notice the right needle amulet stats alone gives mp resistance critical damage fire resistance a lot of critical as well uh five percent crit pretty nice 400 Vite and 40 Wisdom as well. So even though it doesn't give strength, the other stats are nice and it makes up for it when it gives us this bonus stats here from the two-piece. Usually when people are um, planning, let's say, an intelligence set, they would use a two-combo as well. So they'd use the Rhine into Amulet that I might chuck in a belt or they use the Rhine into Amulet with, let's say, a Rhine into Ring. I don't know. It's honestly up to preference, but... It's very nice to have the two set uh, Rhine Eatle bonus, uh, two item Rhine Eatle set bonus because of the bonuses. Alright, so the boots that I'm using is a shabby boots. You guys might remember me uh, buying this item from uh, from the guy in one of my videos. Uh, cost 130 million karmas for a 6% earth resistance one. I actually regret paying that much. After so many people watched my video and they talked to me about it, I reckon I should have paid like 100 million max. Because it's a level 196 item and not many people actually use this item in their set as well. So it's going to be extremely hard for me to sell if I finish using it, that is. Alright, so the shield that I'm using is a water dial. 
the reason why I'm using a water dial is because um, it gives 12% neutral, oh no, no, 12% melee damage and minus 12% range damage, which doesn't affect me because every single one of my spells is melee, except for Mastiff, which is a weak spell anyway. So even if I use it from range, it's not going to be, it's not going to make much of a difference. And it's probably just to increase the Ebony Dofu's charge anyway, so Water Dial is the best option. There are a couple of other options that people uh, sometimes use instead of a Water Dial uh, for a Strength Algonac, and that is an In Shield, which gives crits and spell damage minus range damage. The minus range damage doesn't affect anything. But the most important thing about uh, the Water Dial is that it's actually 12% melee damage, not 12% uh, spell damage. That increases the damage that the Hamacher does, which is why uh, it's very important. There is also a Honeycomb Shield, which some people use. 15% uh, melee damage is nice, but then it gives minus 9% spell damage, which is a problem because that means you're essentially getting a 6% bonus for your spells, and that's not very nice. You know, I want my spells to be able to do high damage as well. Uh, we also have a Captain of Magnus Shield, which is just out of the question because minus 15% range resistance is not good for PvP. Uh, oh, we have Ilizeli Shield as well, but minus 15% weapon damage is not nice because your Hammer Shield will be doing very little damage. So Water Dial is the best option in my opinion. Um, yeah, so the pet that I use is actually a Drago Turkey and... As you know, there's a ton of Drago Turkeys in the game. Yeah, it's like tons of scrolling. I'm not going to find it. So I'm just going to go Strength Filter and Initiative Filter because the one I use is 300 Vite, 70 Strength, 1000 Initiative. Which probably explains why you guys always see me going first in Colosseum or Perk Fights because Initiative is very important in my opinion. I also like the 300 Vitality. Uh, it's very nice, it adds to the Algonac because a lot of spells that I use, uh, such as Appeasement, which heals me, is based on the amount of max HP I have. Alright, Dofus Eggs. Uh, we can choose from Dofus or Trophies. Let's start with the Dofus. The Dofus Eggs that I'm using is Abyssal Dofus, so let's add that. Ivory Dofus, Ebony Dofus. These are the three Dofus that I actually use in every single one of my sets because they're essential for an Algonac. It doesn't matter what element, Abyssal, Ivory and Ebony are essential for an Algonac of all four elements. I use an Emerald Dofus as well because I usually end next to the target and I use a Turquoise Dofus to increase my crits. Now let's go over to Trophy and okay so as you know there's a lot of trophies here so I'm going to search up Rabbit. that's the 100 strength trophy, it'll come up if you don't want to search it up, then just filter strength and then it comes up with the strength trophies and Major Rabbit is here. So that's, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Those are the trophies I use and the eggs I use. Okay, so that's the, uh, showing you guys what sets, uh, what items I use in my set. However, there are more functions to Dofu's uh, book, which I need to show you now. Firstly, 995 uh, characteristic points what I do is 350 strength and 195 oops uh, 195 vi vitality and I also am scrolled 100 in every single stat so I'm just going to put that on as you can see this is actually not updated yet it still says you have 995 left I don't know why but it just takes a while to update so I'm just going to refresh the page and there it is it's updated okay now, once you have added in the particular items into your, um, into your slots, what you can do is put your mouse over it and there are a few options that come up. There is this one which is replace, so if you want to replace this hat with a different one. Or you can delete the item, or you can smith mage it, or you can workshop it. I don't know what that is, uh, I haven't tried it before, I don't think it's important anyway. You can also see the recipe for the item, which is quite useful. It tells you the recipe right here. Uh, or you could love this, uh, add this item to your favorites if you want. So, okay, what I'm going to do is go to Smith Mage. Smith Mage refers to any form of mage, uh, extra mage, over mage, any form like that. 
add an XO. Uh, the reason why you add XO here is because if you want to add an over mage, you can do it right here. You can up it by pressing the up and down button, or you can erase this and type 13. Uh, that's if it was a 3% fire resistance over mage. However, uh, let's just go back for a sec. We notice uh, these are my resistances right now, 20%, 20%, 30%, 30%, and 40%. The earth resistance is quite low. So I can tell you guys the majority of my set is actually maged to have uh, uh, extra mage percent earth resistance. So just keep in mind how much resistance I have now, then you're going to see I have a lot more at the end. All right, as you know, the Kutulu hat that I'm using, uh, where is earth? Oh, here it is. The Kutulu hat that I'm using is actually 5% earth resistance exclamation. I'm just going to add that on. Uh, you can also decrease the stats uh, if you want to make it extremely accurate, you know, because like not every single item in the game is perfect stats. So if you want to make it extremely accurate to the gear that you have in the game, then you can do this. Uh, for example, my strength gear, uh, my Kutulu hat only has 68 strength, so I can change it to 68 if I wanted. But now I'll just keep it like that for now. All right, so 5% earth resistance, uh, extra mage. It appears at the top here. Uh, I think it's the same color, or no, it's it's a, it's a bit whiter than the other stats. But yeah, anyways, the hammer I'm using is 2% earth. Oh yeah, by the way, with regards to add a potion, you can also change the element of the weapon uh, if it's a neutral damage weapon. Just like I did with my... Um, like if I have an archetypal bow, normally doing neutral damage, so I can change it to 50% water or something to make the damage part less. But, you know, neutral damage is the damage that you want a amateur to be dealing. So you're going to leave neutral damage the same. Add an EXO, we can do 2% uh, earth resistance is the current EXO that I have on my amateur. So we can go to build there. Uh, we also have, um, uh, okay, let's do this. Cloak of Thousand Excuses is 3% earth resistance. So let's add that on. Save. And then go to build. Now, the Shabby Boots is actually 6% earth resistance, as you remember from one of my previous videos. So I'm going to add 6% earth resistance on. And I will add 3% earth resistance over mage to my right needle belt because that's what it is go to build my tash ring oh wait i'll leave tash ring for later uh right needle amulet is 3% fire which is an over mage so you have to add it down here 3% there i have to go back to build okay look at my resistances they're pretty decent at the moment a lot more than what they were before i remember before it was 20% earth okay um the water doll I have is actually a 100 vitality exo mage transcendence rune on it. So I'm going to add 100 over here. Save and let's uh, go to build. Okay. Now the next part is honestly up to preference. But if you tick 1 AP and 1 MP here and then you refresh the page, it will include the exos in. So now you have 11 AP, 6 MP. And you don't need to modify, you know, the stats on these rings here. However, you know, I like to be consistent with my items because, you know, I added the over mages and extra mages on the items itself. So I'm going to smith mage this, add one AP exo to my tash ring because that's what I'm using, and then go to build, and then barbaric band. Now, barbaric band is actually one MP, one percent earth resistance. Now, the reason why I actually chose to do that is because the uh, th this is my main character. So the Algonac is my main character that I play. And, you know, I want to max out my mages as much as possible, you know, because like 1 MP is 90 sync. So there's still room for 1% earth resistance. I might as well do it. And also because the resistance for earth would have been at 39%, which is a bit, uh, how should I say it, a bit ugly to look at, you know, because like, you want 40% to be a clean number, but then you have 39%, which is just missing one, uh, one less than 40, which just looks ugly. Yeah, so now that I added the exos, you have one MP icon here, one AP icon here. The rings, are, uh, the squares around the ring have also changed color as well. So that tells you that you have the exo. If you add a range exo, it actually appears in light blue uh, around the item. So that's how it is. Okay, so this is basically my my set 
for my Algonac. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so that that's basically the basics on how to use uh, Dofu's book. It's honestly up to opinion though, but I p personally liked Dofu's planner better because it's faster. But this isn't that bad in terms of speed. Uh, it's still pretty decent, uh, as you can see me when I was navigating through before. It's not as fast as Dofus Planner, but it was still pretty decent in terms of speed. So it's the best option that we have at the moment. So uh, let me just go Weaponator now. Uh, I think it was Replace. Yeah, okay, Weaponator. And let's see what weapons it recommends us. Because this is basically, you know, it tells us what weapons would do the highest damage. Yeah, so Larvac still does the highest damage apparently. I doubt it though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. Larvax is actually a pretty weak item. I wouldn't imagine it to do this much damage. Elizeli Daggers, Gargar Daggers, Bl Lord Warriors, Scythe, Geiger, Flinty, Black... Blackmail Root? What on earth? Where is Hamacher? Hamacher is number 13. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I don't even know like if this is accurate or not, but apparently Hamacher is the 13th most strongest weapon. It's, it's got to be wrong but whatever all right so that, that was just a basic guide on how to use the dofus book website and i hope you learned a thing or two about the website i'm going to be putting this link here uh when you're sharing uh the link to dofus book copy it from this link here don't copy the url from the website because it's not going to work so make sure you copy this link on the right here and then you paste it somewhere to you know, help people or show people your set or whatever. Um, what else is there? You can copy the build. And once you copy the build, you can choose what items to copy. You can copy it to one of, one of your existing sets. Or you can make a new set and copy this precise gear as well. Uh, if you want. You can also compare two builds. Uh, you can also... Uh, look at your stats. Uh, look at your weapon damage. Uh, crit chance weapon skill or without weapon skill you can look at how much damage your spells will do with the current gear that you're wearing uh, this this is a bit bogged though because even though you change the spell it still shows you the name of the spell from uh, so prey and venison are the first two spells so even if I go to let's say tetanization it still says prey there but the damage preview and stuff is quite accurate so yeah you can al you can always check what damage your spells do with this interface so it's pretty nice uh boost is uh oh boost is if you want to show like uh how much damage you do if you get buffed by an ally so let's say i choose echo flip and then i do let's say uh where is it wheel of fortune or something where's wheel of fortune that's weird wheel of fortune is not here but uh, okay, let's go Algonac and you do RK9, so 200 power. You can add the add the buff. And then you can go back to your weapon and see that it will do a bit more damage. So yeah, that's basically how to use the website. There's a couple of use, useful features in here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, or you can also test your color, which is pretty nice. Yeah, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be posting the link to my set in the description box below. If you have any questions with regards to this video or how to use this website, please let me know and I'll be sure to answer them. I'll actually answer this time. In the past, I've just love reacted to your comments because I've been lazy, but I'll actually answer this time. Later on, I'll be doing a review on my actual Algonac set, which is the, you know, the actual set in the game. I'm going to try and finalize my other chance, agility, and intelligence set as well and reveal those for you guys as well. But in the meantime, uh, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.